I will show ZPA browser based uh, access with cloud browser isolation. This is the um, topology that uh, I'll use. I have a, a user that connects through uh, ZTE to the app connector to access these uh, private applications. I've simulated this as if these are two uh, child applications as a part of uh, one big parent uh, application. And then through the browser, this user will get an access and uh, through that, uh, once we apply the isolation, these applications should be able to talk to each other in terms of like they can do the copy paste, but nothing from this to the outside world will work. So this is how the uh, configuration would look like. We'll go through these uh, one by one. And uh, once we have this configuration in place, the user will have um, a browser, uh, user portal, a browser-based access through which you can access these uh, two applications. And I've just created a small um, form based to show that uh, the copy paste works between these two um, applications, CBIS3, CBIS4, but not to the outside world. So let's jump onto the portal and uh, access this. So, so the first thing is the um, isolation uh, profile. So I have uh, an isolation profile here and uh, you can see that I have these uh, security uh, controls. I also have uh, uh, in the, under the user experience, you can see that I have like uh, the browser in browser also uh, enabled. So now onto the ZPS side, uh, there is an app connector that uh, I have for uh, scenario. So this is for the CBI, we have this uh, uh, app connector and uh, then we have like uh, an application segment. These are uh, the two applications that I'm using for this, which is in this uh, app segment, CBI, ZPS CBI. This is the app segment, which has the server group. And uh, then uh, I have uh, two access policies for uh, this. So the uh, CBI uh, web browser policy, which uh, gives uh, me an access through, which is the client type uh, web browser, and then there is a, uh, another policy, which is the cloud browser policy, which uh, uses uh, the application segment and segment group with the client type um, cloud browser. So then uh, to have that form based, uh, the user portal, I have uh, that configured right over here. This is the front end uh, URL that I will use to get the, um, to get to the portal. And uh, then I have, uh, the portal links. These are the two portal links for my two internal uh, servers, CBI S3 and uh, CBI S4. So, so this is this is the configuration. I have the uh, DNS uh, configuration in place that uh, redirects the uh, DNS query coming from the user through an app, uh, app server to the right uh, application. So, with that, let's get on to the uh, portal. So this is my uh, portal CBI dot ssr.com and um, you could see that if I open uh, the first application which points to the CBI S3, it's an Ubuntu server, I just created the front end, you saw that it uh, was open in isolation and then if I open the second server, that also turns on and opens in isolation and uh, if I basically type anything here, I can uh, try to copy from S3, S4, and then I can paste uh, to the other machine. Whereas uh, if I try to copy this and paste outside, that should not work. So this is in quick like uh, how you can have the browser-based access available to the ZPA user, and on top of that have CBI uh, enabled to do the isolation. I've also written um, a write-up document here that basically goes over and goes into the detail and you can find this on G Drive as well, which covers the same uh, scenario that I've shown here. It goes into the detail of all the configuration that I've done through the screenshots, and then at the end, uh, it goes through and uh, how the DNS is set up, the isolation policies, and at the end, the verification, you could see that I have this, uh, I have this setup in my um, uh, SkyTap environment. This is the um, SkyTap, you could see that app connector is running, my, um, uh, app connector is uh, 10004, whereas the CBI S3 is 10005, CBI S4, which is the second application, is uh, 10006. So this is basically the uh, scenario that I have, 
and then you can verify the port links are working and then the isolation uh, between the private uh, Ubuntu servers running this private application. So I hope you find this useful. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and thanks and have a great day. Bye.